Hi Sagittarius, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. At the end of this message, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab, the shorts, and the membership option as well. And if you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment, but I would appreciate it if you did leave a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. And if you stay to the very end, leave me a smiley face emoji. So Sagittarius, during pre-shuffle, these two cards jump out of the deck. Let's look at the art. So the art is beautiful on both of the cards. And so let's get to the messages. So the message is this card re reflects protection, freedom, and success. It won't be quickly to it won't be quick or easy, but you'll succeed, Sagittarius. And you are protected along the way. Free yourself of past doubt, fear, and guilt. Let go of fixed expectations, be flexible, adaptable, and open to new avenues and ideas. A higher power is trying to guide you, so don't ignore the signs, symbols, synchronicities that come your way. That's God most high, your angels, guides, trying to show you the path to take, trying to show you the resources that are available for you. Just honor them. Don't ignore them. All right. It could be um, repetitive words, numbers, insects. You could see repetitive uh, billboards, hear repetitive songs. Like, don't ignore any of those things. Pay attention to them and honor them and see how they are messages that apply to your current situation. So, again, let go of fixed expectations, be flexible, adaptable, and open to new avenues that and ideas a higher power is trying to guide you. All right. So that tells me that you've been getting some of these signs, symbols, and synchronicities, but ignoring them because at the end it says a higher power is trying to guide you. So you're ignoring those messages that are coming to you. Okay. Pay attention to them and honor them. You also have sometimes the true purpose of things. The true purpose of things is hidden from view. Sometimes, pardon me, <laughs> something doesn't quite make sense at the moment, but it soon will. All is about to change. A blessing is on its way and many more will follow. Soon you will feel as though it's raining rose petals from heaven. So let me just read that again. Sometimes the true purpose of things is hidden from view. Something doesn't quite make sense at the moment, Sagittarius, but it soon will. All is about to change. A blessing is on its way and many more will follow. Soon you will feel as though it's raining rose petals from heaven. So be open, be flexible, uh, be alert, be aware, and follow the guidance that is presented to you. Okay. God most high, what else do you have for Sagittarius? That's for their well-being. In the highest form of love and light. Is there anything else for Sagittarius? That's for their well-being. Thank you. God most high. So Sagittarius, you have the Six of Cups. So you may be thinking about past connections that have really made a positive impact in your life. I wouldn't be surprised if someone from your past would... Um, connect with you in some way we're still in that mercury retrograde energy right now so we still have some of the after effects that we are experiencing so there is still a possibility that someone from the past may try to connect with you just be mindful of the fact that we are still in that mercury retrograde energy so you may want to proceed with caution uh, the cat is making itself um 
present and also the rabbit. So I'm going to get those two spirit animal cards for you as well in a moment. You have the seven of wands, which encourages you to defend your position. If you have made a decision about something and someone's trying to persuade you to do otherwise uh, for their own sake, because they have a hidden agenda, you're being encouraged to stand your ground. If you are working with others on a group project, uh, I feel like you're being encouraged, especially if you are the lead, that you stand your position and you do what you know is right in the situation. So as we see here on the Six of Pentacles, we have two people. So I feel like with this energy, it's speaking to like group efforts. Okay, but stand your ground, be bold and courageous sometimes you have to stand firm on what you believe to know is right either even when you are opposed by others so perhaps someone you know decided that they want to go share with other members of the team their perspective to get them to side with them and now they want to come against you it's okay you're never by yourself you're never alone and you standing up for what you know is right is what's most important that you don't fold so take a stance and be firm and be confident okay you have the eight of swords don't allow anything to stress you out to keep you up at night to invoke fear upon you there's nothing to fear everything is working out for your well-being uh, even if you are faced with challenges, right? It's still working out for your well-being because all things work out for your well-being. So don't let the opinions of others stress you out. Don't overthink. Trust that everything is going to work out. You are doing what's right. Stand firm on it and know that all is well. Okay? If you notice here on this Seven of Wands card, that there is light that's coming from one of the lanterns and I feel like that exudes the fact that you are divinely protected and divinely guided as was mentioned earlier on in your reading so there's nothing for you to be over thinking stressing about invoking unnecessary fear upon yourself okay If you do continue in that state of mind, you're going to invoke the tower moment. So you're going to feel like everything has been just swept right from under your feet. Um, I'm getting uh, like the rug being pulled from under you. So to prevent that, stand on your truth, be firm, be confident, be bold, be courageous so that you don't have to worry about this tower moment happening. You have the right and the ability to prevent this from happening by simply standing your ground and not stressing out unnecessarily. You're divinely protected. Here's, let's remind you about the beginning of your message. This card reflects protection, freedom, and success, period. This card reflects protection, freedom, and success. It won't be easy. Opposition here. That was just your other card falling. So let fear fall away. Nothing just happens. The card fell. Let fear fall away. It won't be quick or easy, but you will succeed. You have opposition, but it's okay because you still will succeed. Because this gentleman here, he does not back down. He doesn't change his mind. He defends his castle, period. So you do the same. Defend what you know is right. Defend your position. And in doing so, release any fear, any doubt, any unnecessary concern so that you do not invoke the tower moment. 
all right Sagittarius this is your message I hope it has been helpful thank you for joining me I appreciate you take good care of yourself I will talk to you soon peace and blessings to you bye for now